What is up YouTube? It is Matty and welcome to the Tunnel 8.5 video that we've been that, or series that we've been doing. So yes, this is going to be a big update from the last one because I'll tell you what, all my focus has now shifted to getting this account up and I'll tell you why. So I'm going to I'm going to cover some updates on what's going on with my main account, on this account, on, you know, plans, strategies and all that sort of thing. And then I'm going to show you some more attacks, some live raids as well, touch about offense, defense and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, pretty action-packed episode. Um, first and foremost, clearly I'm I'm in Champions League, and you'll see by my attacks one already. Considering we're four days into the tournament, start into the new league season, um, I'm absolutely you know go into town on it on this account in this. Um, well, yeah, to to tr to try and get my heroes up, my troops up, get my walls up, and all that sort of stuff. So I'm farming this account really actively now. The reason for that is because on my main account, and if we have a little visit of it, uh, my heroes are 30-30, and my m m lava walls are almost done, and there's going to be a stage where I have to hit, uh, I'm going to have to think, right, I'm going to have to go Town Hall 10, um, or move, at least upgrade my Town Hall, become a 9.5, start learning Town Hall 10 attacks, you know, and get the extra spells, get freeze, and and start that process and it'll be great for you guys to see on YouTube and that sort of stuff but I've got a huge Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 8 following so I don't want to lose that connection and um, so I'm investing a lot of time and effort now into this account so that it's by the time I'm ready to upgrade to my um, on my main account that this account is sort of war ready at Town Hall 9 so uh, so yeah um, 8.5 it's a funny old thing I have uh, done a couple of things on the defense wise so I've dropped my second sweeper I've dropped the extra arch tower you get it from 8 to 9 and um, got it to level 8 so far I will be getting it to 10 soon I have dropped the extra wizard tower the extra Tesla as well um, and the air defense and got it up to uh, to level 4 uh, the, the the max level for tunnel 8 as well so they're all level 6 um, now and it's just gonna give me a bit of a, a, a bit extra offensive power and um, the wizard tower and Tesla I've decided to do as well I want to make it so that, you know, I've got the right amount of defences minus the expos and I can just, so I've, it, it's going to help the clan a little bit, um, but it's not going to add too much weight to my, um, to my, to me in the war. Um, meanwhile, I'm absolutely spamming my heroes up as high as I can go. So my plans with them is going to get my hit, my queen to 15 first and, my, and then my king to 15. So I, I think 15 is a good baseline to get them to. They become quite usable at that level. Um, so that's where really where I want to get to. And then I'm going to go five levels straight on my queen up to 20. So 15, 15 on the, hit, on the king and queen, then 15 to 20 um, on my queen. And that the reason for that is that I can use the the super queen or, or better with AQ walks, all that sort of stuff, and she'll become more useful. And for doing that sort of thing, troop wise on this account, I've got um I'm, my golems are currently upgrading. There's about five days left on that, so they're going to be four soon, which is town or nine max. So I've got max well I've got max Laloon, and I'll soon have max Goho. Um, I'll soon be doing healers and uh, what else? healers minions and probably that's really my only main focus at the moment because yeah I've already done my giants so I can sort of add giants into to go ho raids you know soon getting those healers up will be important to keep my queen alive that sort of thing heal spell as well getting that to level six so there's quite a few things that I'm gonna carry on doing haven't quite decided the order yet I just need those golems to hurry up and, and get to level four I'll probably do healers next maybe though because that's a cheap one anyway I think um, so yeah I've moved up to Champions League you'll notice it's been uh, it's been nice so far. I've been I enjoy farming in Champions League. It's where I'm comfortable. You'll see I've been up to three two eight eight. So I'm just jumping up, hopping down a bit, um, fluctuating. You could say um, Champions League is really nice to me. Be well, I, I find it really nice. The only thing you got to be wary of, you can get hit hard by Town Hall nines and tens. And you'll see on some of these raids here, I've been hundred percented. I mean, I was hundred percented what a few minutes ago. It was so frustrating. I did this whole video, like a fifteen minute video. Then someone rang me from work, my laptop died because it overheated. Someone rang me from work and then I got raided in between. So, absolute disaster. <laughs> so, still recovering from that one a little bit. But he did take a big chunk of loot. But you'll see what I'm doing on the offense in a minute. But if we carry on looking at the defense, you know, I've, uh, I'm have i getting sniped now and then. Um, it's not too bad. Um, I'm not getting hit for, t for too much stuff, to be honest. But the trophies doesn't matter losing those because I'll gain those back on my attacks. Now my attacks are a mixed bag, and um, you'll see 
I do get close on some raids. I mean, that bottom one is an absolute fail because I didn't get any loot and I failed and I lost 25 trophies. So that was a not a good example. But the rest, you know, I'm trying to aim for raids where I can get a good, a good chunk of dark. That's my only thing I'm really worrying about. Even if it's a difficult base to to, uh, to get a, a 50% on or, or whatever, I'll, um, I'll still try. If, if the dark's accessible, I'll go for it. Get the dark and get out of there. Um, and you'll see another 47%. I will show this raid because I was really distracted when I did it. Um, I saw uh, at the start I saw all the dark drills um, were in one place. So I thought I'll send my king and queen in there, raise them onto them to go and get the uh, the dark elixir from that. Um, and then at this point where I should have started surgicaling the base and you know planning to take getting all that percentage, I just went for the old spam approach, which was really not much time or effort put into it. Um, and it's because I was distracted. I just needed to get the raid done, to be honest. Uh, but it just really didn't work out and I got stuck on 47% and couldn't find the extra percent to uh, to get me up to 50. Um, but when you get the win at Town Hall, when you're in Champions League, you know, the loot bonus is crazy. So 180,000 of gold and elixir and then 1,200 dark. So that 1,200 dark really does help when you get, say, 2 or 3k in a raid and it bumps it up to 4 or, f you know, th to 3 or 4 um each time especially with minion cost as well because you, you you're losing 500 or just under 500 dark for minions in each uh, raid as well because that's my cooking cost but when then you find things like this now this is an absolute beast of a raid look how much loot is in that it's like 750,000 of each plus through almost 3k dark and obviously the loot bonus that comes with that as well um, I was distracted as well. I'm really gutted. Watch, I even missed the king ability. So, got put the rage down. Got broke my heroes in. That's what the giant and three wall breakers are there for to uh, to just break into a layer of wall and start the pro start let my heroes in. Um, one, one air defense went down, but I didn't come with my four rage spells like normal. Because if I had, I can pretty much guarantee I'd have got the three star on this one and got every ounce of loot because you'll see there's only two active defenses that can target my um, my uh, loons at the end and that's Tesla's full CC as well and the Queen was down which was lovely I didn't need to waste any minions or, or, or loons trying to kill her um, poison on the CC pretty standard nice and easy once the CC was dead more another rage and loons down the uh, sort of four o'clock five o'clock um, and then there was just the one sort of quadrant left but the problem was because I wasn't concentrating and didn't see the sweeper <coughs> that didn't go down at six o'clock it stopped my loons getting onto I didn't have a rage spell to help either and you'll see in the core the, the loons are just hovering there taking defenses down the expos aren't pointed up either but the air defense down at the bottom is just making work of those loons and what it's meant is that the final two tests that are, that are in the core in the core and protecting those storages annoyingly um, it's meant that and they're going to just take down my loons and then take down all the minions that follow so you'll see if I just speed up the raid now that unfortunately um, that those testers just went to town on all my minions and I wasn't able to bring all the loot back which was and the three star which was really annoying so close huge huge loot biggest loot I've ever seen on a town or nine so that's amazing that was an amazing find a few minutes ago um, and then another good find as well uh, which you'll see on this one so similar start look I saw an exposed air defense at the bottom so giant down three wall breakers in to break me in king and queen rage spell to help hurry them up because it's quite a bit of point defense down there so I didn't want my king getting slapped too early on I wanted him to at least do some damage get some things down and my queen taking down the air defense is kind of key and obviously the second air defense is quite accessible as well which was going to sort of affect my route into the dark elixir so I thought before I before I do anything else if I can take that down as well um, which you'll see me do in a minute it will make my sort of when I go for the rest of the base it'll make it a lot easier especially since that one air defense is already um, sort of out of commission because it's been upgraded and you'll see I took it down there and then for the rest of the raid I just thought uh, spam la loon you know just go for sorry spam loonian just go for it get the loons in there get the minions in there behind rage the core and you'll see here that luckily I was actually able to bring the three star home. So amazing, uh, really, really nice because of A, over 350,000 of each loot, the 180,000 of each for the bonus, the um, 2,400 dark plus the 1,200 dark and 29 trophies. 
So yeah, that was an awesome raid and sort of inspired this video as well to be honest. On the uh, Lego front, I've now, I'm, I'm upgrading it, you know, per session, probably th four Legos, maybe more. Um, here we go, I'm up to 82 now, so get getting there nicely done, nicely. And I'm upgrading a, a hero level a day, approximately. So to get my queen up to the next level, 75,000, and my king up to 14 would be 60,000. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to get my queen 15 before the end of the day. So better get back to some farming raids. I did want to show you what I'm, the sort of raids I'm doing in war as well, because I thought that might be important. Here we go. Let's have a look. See if I can find. There's my one on 25. Let's show that one first. These were really poor bases, by the way, so nothing really to brag about. But it just get, goes to show, you know, I can just start taking down the town or nines, taking down some nines, even though they're really weak. Um, I can take harder ones down, to be honest. But um, at, the, at the moment, I just use the king to suicide the queen, pulled the CC up north, used the poison to help take it down, send in my hogs, and then just a big wedge of hogs going in the base, sort of surgical, surgical approach. Um, and taking down all the defences and then that's it so sorry I'm not sort of slowing down this raid didn't really need much you know uh, didn't need too, too in depth a look um, unfortunately it was a bit of a bad raid by me anyway I, I should have come away with a lot more hog surviving than that and I should have actually given it a lot more consideration but I sort of rushed it um, which I typically do with raids and which is why I fail so often um, but the second raid I think was better so this uh, this was the base. It's slightly better. And what I thought here is I'm going to use a stoned goho. So I use three golems to go in through sort of between six and nine o'clock, or six and eight o'clock. Wizards to create the funnel. Queen and king to go in. They're going to take down a couple of double giant bomb threats. Uh, take down the queen. Um, take down some defenses on route as well. I wanted quite a few of those point defenses to go down preferably to the wizards and you can see I've got a wizard shooting the cannon on the uh, right I've got a wizard shooting the arch tower on the left I've got my king and queen sort of looking to start heading in the king's going to take down the queen now uh, which is nice and then I forgot to uh, kill the CC I, 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 I have poison as well I just completely forgot about the CC so that's an absolute noob error by me and the, and the witch survived and put loads of skellies onto my hogs so unfortunately um, this raid became a lot more challenging because I had four heal spells as well I didn't need to use any jumps or rages or anything like that um, so speeding through I had skellies slap, um, hitting my hogs the whole way through the raid which was quite funny um, but they were able to take the queen down, the witch down eventually um, and I was able to, to bring home the three star which was uh, kind of lucky considering I, I did the utmost of noob errors I planned everything out you know to take down the, the kill squad um, sorry to take down the clan castle with my kill squad use the poison spell when they started engaging the golems but I just completely flopped the raid so slightly embarrassing there and um, we are doing a war against emphatic fury next as well so gonna be using my m mini account in to uh, where is it where is he here he is number 21 with my main all the way up to at, uh, number six so I've got two accounts to uh, to go in the Fury War. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed this sort of uh, update video on where I'm at. Um, you know, it's an exciting time really, getting my, my mini up to a level where it's usable, properly usable in war. I can three star already, obviously cause with Max Hogs and stuff. Um, but I'm just trying to get it so you know I can I can really start doing some fancy strategies and start the Arch Queen walks and uh, HGH, which is Hogs uh, Healers Giants Hogs. Um, and, and and yeah, I, I want to even get my dragons to level four, so I can try the go 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 drag um, strategy that's useful as well as at the moment, which you would have seen in the um, emphatic. Sorry, not in the emphatic, in the fair play community uh, war recaps. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, subscribe to my channel. Let me know your thoughts. Um, let me know where you're at in your bases as well, and if this video has been helpful at all to you. So I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll we'll. The next time you'll see an episode like this will be with a new update, probably when I've got a bit higher heroes as well. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.